it wasn't me. Um, Alec gave it to me. <laughs> right, Alec? Well, yes, I gave it to her. Hey, why did you give me the credit for that fleck thing? <laughs> it's just that I prefer to go unnoticed. Okay. Well done, girl. You gave us the win today. Could you keep that little secret for me? Sure. I'm good at keeping secrets. Why? Hair grows back. I don't care. What's up? Nothing much. Just reading a bit. You should lend me one of your books. This place is kind of boring. Actually, I'm about to finish this one. Although I doubt a child would be very interested in it. What is it? It's about psychology and different kinds of people. Sounds interesting. What makes you think I wouldn't want to read it? Well, fair point. Maybe I misjudged you. Here. It seems short. I'll finish it in a couple of days. What's this? Oh, sorry. It's a drawing. My son drew it for me. Son? Uh, yes, I have a son. Hey guys. What's wrong? Now that everything's said and done and your asses have been saved, I think we should vote together and take control of the team. Wait, what did you say? Sounds good to me. Well, who do you propose? Oh, I got someone in mind. I've noticed that Ellie and Alec aren't as unbearable as the rest. I think I can be myself around them. Can you assist me, Fiore? Ugh, do I have to? Do you want to win? Fine. I don't think you'll find a recipe for worm stew. Maybe I can substitute the ingredients. Have you done this before? Uh, kind of. Do you even cook for your family? Not recently, to tell you the truth. How to make meals when we're going through a bit of a rough patch right now. Hmm, seems you have bigger troubles than cooking with worms. Tell me. It's a complicated situation. I'd rather not talk about it. Whatever, I don't really care anyway. Hmm, I think we screwed up. Definitely. Well, it's not like you can do much with fish eyes. Not me. Here, Alec. I'm done reading the book. Did you enjoy it? Yeah, it had some cool stuff that we can apply to the game. But only if we ignore the section on teamwork. Teamwork not your forte? Sure, if you want to waste time arguing and trying to convince others to do what you want. I feel like that every day. What's going on? Do you recall what I told you about my wife? That you don't get along? We do get along. It's common for marriages to get testy, I'll have you know. I'm just hoping things will get better. If I win, I'll take my family somewhere to start a new life. Wow, look at Romeo over here. I'm sure money will solve your marital problems. <laughs> that joke didn't land like I wanted. It's fine. You're right. Fiore can be brutal, but because of that, she's one of the few people here who are honest with me. Okay, listen up. I think it'd be better if we stick together to find the lake. Once we get there, we can do a fair fight over swimming to the platform. Sound good? I don't know how to swim. Guess you can try to build a raft or something? It's Jensen! Run! Let's get out of here! Well... Yes, it's Ellie, right? Absolutely. I would have preferred the three of us to make it emerge, but there's no other option. You better not be lying to me. I'm not. Gret, what's going on? Yeah, didn't you just get voted out? Apparently another game twist. 
All we did was switch teams. Does... does that mean Ellie is still in the game? Yes. She's already on her way to the other camp. Gabby is a psychotic backstabber. Jake and Tom are a toxic couple. Miriam is a useless old lady and Dan is a dumb kid who pretends to know things. Can you believe they still decided to vote me out? That's the way it is. You can't assume that others make intelligent decisions. Wow, it seems like there are a lot of incompetence on the other team. How'd they win so many challenges? I don't know. We've had our share of incompetent people too. But maybe now things will change. You're right. And they're going to pay. We can help you with that. Wow, girl. I underestimated you. Why would you, though? I suppose you want something in return. If you promise to never vote for us, we'll help you. And how would you propose I get my revenge? Patience. Knowledge is key in this game. We have to exploit their weaknesses. I believe I can help with that. Give us the details. The five of them and three of us. Not a great start. We have to split them up. As long as Ellie doesn't snitch, they still think I'm an innocent little girl. We can use that to our advantage. How about this? I'll be with Ellie and Gabby all day, see if I can drain some intel from them about their team's status. And Fiore, you can talk to the others. I can tell them some lies about Ellie and Gabby. Attica? Hey. Did you get any information from them? Last night, they voted for Ellie, but Gabby used the totem to save her. They seem to be interested in working with us. Excellent. I'm going back to see what else I can dig up from them. See you in the challenge. If we intentionally answer the questions wrong, we won't have to take out anyone's lives. I don't think you quite get the game. No, wait. I know what Fiori is thinking. Just trust her. If the other team can agree on anything, it would be to vote for Gret next elimination. We have to let her win immunity. Do we risk it? Life is no fun without a little risk. Alec. Fiore. Alec. Fiore. Everything went according to plan. They fell right into our trap. <laughs> you did very well. That challenge strategy was very impressive. Thanks. I knew it would work. I wish my son was more like you. Ugh, not this again. Why does everyone think money can solve their personal problems? What? You're just two sides of the same coin. What do you mean? Alec thinks winning this will fix problems with his wife, and you think winning this will make your parents love you. I'm gonna be honest with you, Alec, but that marriage is a divorce waiting to happen. Ouch. Taking ownership of who you are. Maybe you're right. It's about time we stop caring about people who aren't worth it. What happened to the sky? It looks scary. Where'd you get that hat? You have one too. Huh? What? This makes no sense. Fiore, I think I know what's happening. What is it? Are you sure? But it doesn't seem like it. It's the only explanation. Don't tell anyone. What's going on? Nothing. We're just wondering why they did all of this. He left without us! Assholes! We have to find shelter. Maybe we can go into one of the caves? Does anyone know how to get there? I do. Follow me. Up her, or I'll shoot. Okay, okay, calm down. The gun down, Alec. I'll put one right between your eyes. Yes! How did you know it was a simulation? I read about this exact virtual reality system a few months ago when it first came out. It's one of those super advanced military only pieces of tech. My son really wanted one. We have Ellie, Tom, Jake, and Miriam. 
Even if we can persuade Ellie to vote with us, we need someone else. Jake and Miriam seem inseparable, and Tom has been tagging along with those two recently. We must find a way to divide them. Hmm. I recall Gret saying something about Jake having some drama with his ex. We can use that to our advantage. Exactly. From what I've seen, Jake isn't exactly the sharpest tool in the shed. But first, we have to get Ellie back on our side. I'll take care of it. We can't let any of the others win immunity! How about we split up the obstacles? Good idea! I'll go for the three closest north and you go for the one south! Copy that. How are you doing? I already have two necklaces. Me too! Perfect. We're very close to finishing. We've got this in the bag. Alec Fiore. Where are your necklaces? I lost them. Don't want to talk about it. Anyway, I need to ask about the votes tonight. Are you with us? If I vote with you, won't it just end in a 3-3 three to three tie? Not if we find a way to split that alliance. How are we going to do that? You talk to Jake a lot. You must have noticed how insecure he is. Yeah. So? If you can trick him by telling him some lie about Tom, he'll surely believe it. What? I don't want to do that. Jake trusts me. That's why it has to be you. Is that gullible idiot's friendship worth losing a million dollars? And for what? To go back to the same boring, pathetic life again? There's no other way, Ellie. Ugh, I hate this. Hate all you want. For any of us to have a chance, it has to be done. If I do this, I want something in return. What? I want two necklaces. One from each of you. And also the one you will get from this obstacle. If I want immunity, I'll vote for whoever you tell me. I'll also make sure Jake never trusts Tom again. Okay. It's a deal. Wait, this doesn't end here. Tom, we know about your totem. Ellie told us. What is wrong with you, Ellie? Alec, Ellie, and I voted for Jake. So if you don't use your totem to save your little dumb boyfriend, he's gone tonight. Why are you so relaxed? If Tom plays the idol on Jake, we are screwed. What are you two up to? You'll see. God, will those two ever shut up? Let them fight. It's funny. What's in your backpack? Batteries. Yours? Same. It means that everyone else has flashlights. At least we know everyone is in the dark. I doubt Ellie will trust us. We should look for Miriam or Jake. Did you hear that? Yeah. Don't move. Ah! Are you okay? Run! I'll distract it! I'm not leaving you! I said run! Uh, okay. Why did I feel worried when Alec got attacked by the scorpion? It's like I... cared about his well-being? Weird. Help! Anyone there? Fiore? Hang on, I'm coming. Fiore, where are you? I hear you behind the wall, but I can't see you. Me neither. It's pitch black in here. I'm all alone. Just sit tight. I'm gonna come get you. No! Go for immunity! We can't let Ellie or Jake win! Are you sure? Yes! Run! In just a few short days, me and Fiore went from being enemy number one here to being the ones in control. We really are a dream team. Best sucker in the ballot box! Left. Leave with some of your dignity intact, Jake. Here you go. I finished this one, too. Wow. You're faster than I thought. There are only a few days left. I had to hurry. Here. Trevor left me your letter. You really hate them, don't you? No, I'm just not interested. 
I'm sure it's from my parents, blaming themselves for my behaviors like there's really something wrong with me. Anyway, I don't care. In a few days, I'll be a millionaire and I'll have several slaves to do whatever I want. <laughs> Sounds like a plan. Was your letter from your wife? Yes. She opened her feelings about us. It turns out that maybe, by trying so many times to stay together, I've only been hurting her. I hate to say I told you so. Well, what will you do? Regardless of whether I win or not, I'll move when I get back. Away from my wife. I now realize that the love in our marriage was lost a long time ago. I guess I finally accepted it. About time! Ooh! That must have hurt. Are you okay, Fiore? What do we do? Me and Miriam are toast. Don't worry. When we win, I'll just convince Ellie to keep you. Do you think she could be persuaded? Well, of course. It'd be easier to beat a little girl like you than Miriam in the finale. Her challenge! What if they can't agree? In that case, you and Ellie would go to one last challenge to decide who gets eliminated. Miriam! Fiore! Who do you want to go to the final with you? I choose Ellie. And I won't change my mind. Well... I... You, and that's dangerous. Because feelings are for weak people. I vote to take Ellie to the final. Yes! What? What surprises you? I have a better chance of winning against Ellie and Miriam. But after all I've done? I protected you this whole game. I helped you win the zombie apocalypse challenge, saved your life in the cave, covered up your plan so no one would suspect you're a psychopath, and you still eliminate me. For all that. But I don't need you anymore. Oh, come on, Alec. Out of everybody, you're the last one who should be talking about feeling betrayed. This doesn't concern you. Keep it to yourself, Ellie. Alec, it's time for you to hit the road, buddy. Your parents were right about you. You are a mistake. Oh, I know. And I don't care! Oh, and I bet you'd know a lot about making mistakes!